Hello and welcome to the HW Group Sense Desk video tutorial part 5. My name is Christopher and I will be guiding you through creating my graph. This is a new function. Until now, graphs were limited to only display identical values from one device. So for example, you could only see all the temperature sensors from your Poseidon 2 4002, but not other sensors or other devices. Now you can use my graph to display different sensors from different devices in one graph. Amazing, I know. Combining different values can help you identify issues such as combining temperature sensors and door contacts. Then you can see if the temperature is rising because the door is not closed. You can also optimise your environment when you see how temperature swings affect energy consumption or how door opening affects the need for air conditioning. So let's get started. Click on Graphs, then click on Create New My Graph, and choose a name. We will use Test as usual. Then choose your preferred sensors. Today, for example, we will work with Poseidon 2 Humidity. We will use STE Plus temperature sensor and we will use STE2 door at home and temperature great combination for a graph don't you think now click save now you can see graph test has been created here and shows here when you click on graphs you can see test with the state of our sensors, which we know of by heart from our previous videos. OK, so click on the name of the graph. Here we can go into more detail. The sensors are listed here, and we can click on this drop down and use the arrow keys to change the date range from seven days to a day to a week to a month and to custom where you can manually set the date range here. If we scroll down and you hover the mouse over the graph at different points, you will see the values at those points. At the moment, this is very hard to read and not very interesting. So what we can do is zoom in. Zooming is incredibly easy. All you have to do is left click, drag, hold and drop like so. So you can see a more zoomed in version of the graph. This can also be repeated again. If we hold the mouse here, we can see all the values at the same time. And if we look at door at home, one equals open and zero equals closed. And as you can see today, the door at home was not opened. Now, if you would like to download data from the graph, click on this button over here. Here, you can choose your preferred file format. Of course, you can also edit or you can also delete. That's it. I hope this was helpful and see you in the next video.